Hey guys, Yankee here, and today I'm going to be giving my thoughts on One Piece Volume 5. Uh, this volume wraps up the uh, Sir Village arc, and it also sort of gets us started on the Baratier arc. Um, I was really hard on the Sir Village arc, because I think the start is just really bad. Um, but I was... I said this in the last volume. By the second half of the last volume, I was into it. We were into the fights. And I was enjoying it a lot. Um, and this volume is the same. I think this is a, a much better volume than when we started this arc, right? Um, by the time we get here, things are moving. Um, Usopp is fun. And sort of, like, the misunderstandings are gone. Uh, which I, I said in the last video. Misunderstandings for drama are annoying. Misunderstandings for comedy are fun. And this was a misunderstanding for drama. And I hated it. Um, but that was over by now. Um, Kaya knows that her butler, uh, Kuro, is evil and trying to kill her for her money. And it's just fights. We got, um, Luffy versus Kuro. Uh, we get Zoro versus, uh, the cat guy whose name I don't know. Butchie, I think. Butchie. Um, they finished that up. Uh, we got Django going after Kaya and the kids. And... Yeah, that's basically it. And then we get to Baratier. Uh, Usopp joins the crew, which is great. I like Usopp a lot. He's, I was going to say he's one of my favorite characters, but basically the whole crew I love a lot uh, in this. Um, but yeah, Usopp's great. Uh, we got a new ship, finally. A new ship. We got a ship instead of a crappy little rowboat or whatever we had. Um, so yeah, this is a... A good volume. As a volume, again, I've been doing this every video now, it reads as a good volume. I am satisfied with what I read. I'm sort of satisfied with the ending. Um, and I think we got a good cliffhanger, right? Um, we got like a little taste of Baratier, uh, but not too much. I don't know how many, like three, maybe three chapters of Baratier. Like we arrived, maybe just two. We arrived and then we met sort of Sanji. Um, uh, but yeah, let's see. I got some notes here. Um, okay. Kuro. Uh, I've been, I've been through this series a few times now. I watched the anime once. I've read the manga up until like volume 45. Um, and so this is my third time through it. Uh, in Kuro's flashback, uh, we see Axan Morgan from, I think volume one. It was definitely volume one. Um, I forgot about that. I, I've been through this a few times now. I don't, I just never remember that. Um, and that's, we sort of learn how uh, he got his position because basically Kuro had Django hypnotize him uh, to think that he captured Kuro. And basically Kuro faked his death um, by hypnotizing just some random guy to sort of take his place and go and be executed or imprisoned. Um, and that's how sort of Axan Morgan got his position. Um, uh, yeah, so I don't remember that part often. Um, and also the little sort of in-between chapters, uh, we didn't get much Q&A this time. It was a lot of sort of, uh, discussion about the anime, sh like, I'm not short. It was like a 30 minute special that came out before the actual anime series got started. Um, which I saw, I forget what it was called. Um, but it was before we had like the voice cast we have now, um, and it wasn't, like, in canon, or or not in canon, it wasn't adapting anything, it was just a sort of one-off thing, uh, where they go onto an island and fight people, and so Oda talks about that a little bit, um, he does, he shows some sketches of the characters that were in that movie, um, movie, the 30-minute short, and we don't really get a whole lot of Q&A in this, um, which is unfortunate, uh, and I, the things that we got, uh, there was a question about Shanks's crew, um, where he named, uh, he gave the names of a couple characters, like, uh, Ben Beckman and Lucky Roo, and that's pretty much all I remember of it, um, there wasn't really anything that stood out, um, so yeah, not really much on the Q&A side, we also have Buggy's, um, cover story, 
which I have been paying more attention to this time, and there's not really a whole lot going on. It's just sort of, Buggy's body is gone. He's just a head and arms, and not even arms. And he's a head with hands and feet, and he's going around, um, and sort of uh, being slapped around at sort of every chance. Um, it ends with him going to, or not going to, he gets like smacked away and lands on uh, Gaimon's Island with all the weird animals. Um, but yeah, I don't really have much to say about that. Uh, I like these cover stories because it's sort of, it, I appreciate them more now. And I, I don't even want to say I appreciate them all. Like some of them just don't seem to matter that much. Like, and I'll talk about that later on. There's one that I just don't really see the point of, uh, because it never came back. Uh, Buggy's a character that comes back, so sort of seeing this is good, and it helps sort of set up where we see him next. So going through it again, I'm really, I'm appreciating what we're seeing, even if the adventure is basically, the adventure that Buggy is on right now is completely disconnected um, from everything that's going on, and we don't really call back to it at all. Um, but yeah, this was an okay volume, um, and then we get to Baratier. Luffy messes up the thing, he's going to be forced to work there for a while to pay it off um and we don't really see much we get hints at uh mihawk um because some bounty hunter friends that zoro has uh show up uh what is it johnny and y oh boy yasaku that sounds wrong but i think it's correct um and we sort of get a hint at mihawk that uh basically johnny and the other guy say, hey, we should, if you're looking for a cook, which they are, uh, we should go to this uh, restaurant on the ocean, Baratier, uh, and even, uh, what is it, even Hawkeyes you're looking for apparently goes there, or something like that. So we get a hint to that. Um, at the end of the volume, they basically completely ruin that, though. Um, like, they show Zora just being cut. Um, but yeah, this was a, a good volume. I'm glad Serb Village is over. Um, I'm excited to get th into Baratier proper, um, because, again, Serp Village was where I sort of dropped the series for a while, and probably wouldn't have come back to I'm surprised I came back to it at all, really. I did not care for that arc, um, but Baratier is where I sort of really got into it, and started basically binge-watching the anime. It, like, whenever I could watch the One Piece anime, I was watching it, um, and that was because of the Baratier arc, um. And sort of from this arc forward for a while, things just get really, really good. Um, so I'm really excited to get into them and read them. Um, but yeah, this is a good volume. It again, it feels it feels good reading it. I don't I don't feel like I don't feel wanting. I felt like I got a good a good chunk of story out of this volume. So it's good. I it does not stand on its own. I remember I, the first couple of videos I was talking about like, can I just pick this up and read this? Not as like a new guy, but do I feel satisfied that I got a whole story here? Uh, I don't, and I don't think we're going to get any of that anymore. Um, but I feel satisfied in the amount of stuff that we got, right? It felt like the story took actual, was moving. So anyway, this was a good volume. Uh, I'm looking forward to reading more, uh, and that's going to do it, I guess. Uh, I'll see you guys next time.